Can you find RNS for each chiral center? We'll start here using the conningal prelux system, these atoms that you've hopefully memorized, comparing bromine, oxygen, and two carbon. That's bromine one, oxygen two. What about the two carbons? Instead of digging into every CNH, I will trace a path to the first substituent. Here I hit it after two. Here it takes longer, giving me three and four. Number four is not in the back, so we'll swap twice. Swap one puts four in the back, swap two is anything. Now I can cross out number four, trace an arc for one to two to three, and I get S. For this carbon, I have only three, nope, four substituents, giving me carbon, 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 and hydrogen. Hydrogen is always number four. Now let's look at carbon. Isopropyl immediately hits a branch for carbon number one. This path hits the substituents faster than this direction, making this two and this three. Number four is already in the back, so we cross it out, trace from one to two to three, and I get another S. Comment final below for even more practice before your final exam.